Well, hello there, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Dodgy Gamer here, back for episode two of our Hand of Glory playthrough. Uh, we enjoyed. Oh, I forgot that was coming. We enjoyed playing through the first part of this uh, last week. So let's continue with part two. I want to make this one, uh, break this out of the first look, and make this into a regular series. And I hope you will join me by and show your support by dropping a like leaving a comment and subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already for more point and click adventure retro action as well as some football manager if that's your thing okay so last time we stopped blowtorch had a narrow escape from him we chatted with our, uh, our f not roommate but you know a person a neighbor who lives in our building and now we're on our way to the headquarters to follow up on the news we saw in the morning. If you remember, we got on the TV, heard about another kidnapping that seems to fit the MO of Blowtorch. I found a bad, very bad surprise waiting for me outside the office. Those idiots in the department had pierced a tire of my beloved green dart. Furthermore, the pipe Bastards. was locked to the streetlight with its chain. We, though, probably had the keys, but for the tire, I would have to come up with something. One thing was for sure, I wouldn't leave the HPD without my green dart. Absolutely not. Let's have a closer look at poor green dart. I needed green dart to move, but fixing it with my bare hands seemed impossible. I needed something to plug the breach. Right. We don't have anything. With us already, do we? I don't think the magnet's really going to do the trick. Don't want to melt the rubber on the tyre. Let's speak to Wilo and see what he's got to say for himself. Hey, Wilo. Oh, it's just you. Who else would it be? A government inspector, maybe? They're everywhere these days. We are the HPD, the last place a government inspector would check. We work for justice, so we're all clean and spotless. Is that what you think? Actually, if we're talking about being clean, that doesn't really apply anymore. Listen, it's you who has the keys to Green Dart, right? Yes, the chief inspector entrusted their custody to me. Can you show me an identification document? Wheelo, if you don't give me the keys to my Green Dart right now... I'll make an exception to the rule. Well, that was easy enough. <laughs> A little bit of threatening behavior. Hey, where did the second key come from? That's not mine. The keys were delivered to me as you see them, but if you want to fill out a complaint form... Eh, uh, I'll keep them this way. Hmm. Maybe it was something, uh, Blowtorch left for us. What the hell happened to my green dart? The vehicle has a puncture on the front tire. Not only that, it's chained to a lamppost. Do you have any idea who perpetrated this offense? I don't have all the necessary evidence to make an assessment. Do you want to press charges? Ah, be a waste of time. Instead, do you know where there's a bike shop around here so I can buy a new tire? There's one five blocks away from here, along the promenade. It took me two hours just to get here from my house. I can't afford to lose the whole day. I'll manage some other way. Okay, chewing gum might work. Have you got any spare chewing gum? It depends. Who's asking? The President of the United States. Very funny. I might have some more, yes. Well, perfect. That's exactly what I need. Don't get any ideas. I'm done giving you things for free. Come on. Stop talking nonsense and give me some gum. Okay. Bring me the latest edition of Play Guy and maybe we can talk about it. Play what? Guy? I'm alone all day down here. I have to find some way to pass the time. Looks like I might have to spend the day running errands for this paranoid. On the other side of the street is a newsstand. I better hurry up if I don't want to waste too much time. All right, I suppose we better. I had just been fired, and begging Burton wouldn't have done any good. Oh, I was trying to click on the camera, actually. Bullets in Love, the box office smash hit movie of the recent months. The classic predictable thriller where at the end the killer turns out to be, spoiler alert, the main character. Wait a minute, is that a bit of foreshadowing there, Lassie? I had a vision of me uprooting the hydrant with my bare hands and then crooning, I'm singing in the rain under the water pressure jet. I don't know why, but I've always had a penchant for musicals. Wow. I think that's just you, Lassie. <laughs> a fiery red sports car. I prefer two-wheeled vehicles by far, but 
That one just had a certain something. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. Let's go and find this new stand. Play guy, was it? How do we get out of here? There we go. Blue arrow. Just an excuse to walk around the sports car. Cool guitar music, just to say. Good morning, Didier. Bonjour, Detective. Didier. You're still practicing your French, I see. Je suis really French, Detective. How many times do I have to tell you? Come on, cut the act. Just give me a copy of Play Guy, please. Do you plan to pay this time? Pay? You're particularly funny today, Didier. I cannot extend you any more credit, Detective. Your account has so many zeros that I struggle to read the total. I refuse to pay even one penny to do Wheelow a favor. On the other hand, Inspector Barton has left something paid for you. Seamus is really funny. Was it my fault that Ramos was a mountain of a man? That is all for now. See you soon, Detective. <laughs> By the way, your fake pronunciation sucks. Yeah, he's, if he's going to do a French accent, he has to drop the H's. He says, I have to, instead of I have to. Right, is that the magazine we needed? That guy's from muscles. Maybe want to start a diet based on chicken and salads. All right. Let's see if there's anything if around here. If I ever had here. the need for those tools, I would know where to look. Anything for fixing our bike? Putting it in my pocket was out of the question. I'd have sold my amazing coat. If needed, I could have used it on the spot. Finally, a point-and-click character who doesn't just grab anything and put it in his pockets. Hello. How can I help you? You're doing a really great job. You can say that again, my friend. Nobody does grout work like this these days. Listen to old Tom. That's not just a wall. It is art. If he could, that man would have exhibited his stuccoed wall in the Louvre of Paris, near the Mona Lisa. Okay, this is a ah, play guy magazine. Is that magazine on the wall yours? Of course it's mine. What a question. Well, this is a very difficult situation to explain. In short, I urgently need that magazine. I understood full well what kind of urgency we're talking about. But unfortunately, I have an urgency even greater than yours. Look at those soft curves. Those gentle shades. P please let's not get into any details. What are you suggesting? My urgency is art. I need that magazine as inspiration for my walls. So I can't give it to you. Go to the newsstand and buy a copy like everyone else. Well, I tried to ask him politely. Now I'd have to graduate to cunningly stealing. All right, interesting motivation for a builder. Yes, I would rapidly switch the covers so that the mason wouldn't notice the disappearance of his magazine. Very well done, Lassie. Now I felt more at ease. The cover depicted a muscled man in a military pose. The contents, though, were much more interesting. Nice. With his mother distracted, stealing the balloon and lollipop from the kid would be child's play. How low I've sunk. So how are we going to do that? The sun up in the sky, a fiery red balloon and a lollipop. I would have gladly changed places with that kid. Okay, maybe not yet. The fountain wasn't especially elaborate, and to tell the truth, it also seemed out of place. It emitted a hypnotic water jet, though. Neither too violent nor too calm. Just gently rising up and down. What's on the poster? Ramos was everywhere, constantly reminding me of the thrashing I suffered. Bloody Ramos. He was getting down with that guitar. We can't talk to the muscle man. The wall had recently been stuccoed, so it definitely had more refined look compared to the rest of the building. I was happy to get rid of that magazine, and I wanted things to stay that way. Alright, 
so how do we distract the family? Was it really worth it? Probably not. I thought we could pop the balloon with heat. I try random things like this sometimes. I had nothing else to say to that fake Frenchman. Let's go back. Maybe we sort out Wilo first, give him the magazine and see where we go from there. Here you are, you filthy pervert. But these were not the kinds of pecs I really wanted to see. Take the cover off, you idiot. Oh, now I get it. Don't get smart. No, I want the chewing gum we agreed on. Interesting twist on the Playboy Bunny back there. Help yourself, but make sure you're not seen. It could look like attempted bribery. Nice, we got the chewing gum. Do we have to chew it first? Or do we just go straight to green dots? The chewing gum was exactly what I needed to fix the bike. I'm not sure if this would work in real life. I pray it didn't stick to my gloves or I'd have to spend half a day cleaning them. The chain remained the last obstacle to freedom. But fortunately, I had the keys with me. Keys then. Hopefully, Duh. this is gonna be... No, Lazarus. What clumsy hands! I had... Mm. I think I felt a twinge in my hand. And you scored. <laughs> what a shot. Which physical law of the universe causes keys to inevitably fall inside the only manhole nearby? Opening the grate with bare hands was impossible. Besides, inside it seemed empty. So I imagine there must be a long drop beneath it. I saw no alternative. To recover the key, I would need to penetrate the sewers. But this would take time. I had already wasted too much. By then, the sun was almost setting. I decided to head out immediately, hoping not to miss the appointment. When I reached the place, the sun had already set. An old, desolate alley in West Miami. I didn't know what to expect yet. I had to move cautiously. What have we got around here? Vending machine. Seemed like a vending machine for chewing gum, but actually it contains soft marshmallows. Interesting. Let's check out the trash. Damn, damn cat! Don't worry yourself, Leslie. Just a cat. A TV Armless. and bits and pieces. Boxes, empty bottles of detergent, junk. Okay, homeless person. Hey, are you okay? No answer. Not even a twitch or perceptible movement. Then I realized how things really were. The man wasn't breathing. That's not good. It might just not be a man <gasps> at all. There we go. I knew it. What the? Now that is spooky. Lazarus Bundy, forgive this corruption, but I can't be with you in person for reasons beyond my control. The young Molesburg's kidnapping is just the first piece of a complex puzzle, a plan which, if not stopped, threatens to drag all of us to our doom. I leave the responsibility in your hands, Detective. Catherine Molesburg must be found, and her kidnappers brought to justice. Look for my symbol. Okay, that was very mysterious. I forced myself to interpret all this like a very bad joke. I failed. I started with the conviction to end my challenge with Ramos, and yet I found myself receiving a brand new one. The tone of that man suggested only determination. 
Not a single trace of mockery, nor even a perceptible tremble. That guy really believed what he said. I immediately realized that he wasn't a mythomaniac. Racking my brain would have been useless, so I decided to go back home and sleep on it. Maybe the night would bring much needed insight, and the next day I'd know what to do. Well, yeah, when in doubt, reset. It's interesting, because you'd expect the guy in the weird plague mask to be the, you know, the evil villain. As Maybe was happening was. more and more often, I hadn't slept much, and I almost had the feeling I dreamed everything. Had I really received a bloody challenge from a lunatic with a mask? I needed confirmation, and the HPD office seemed the best place to look for it. Back to the office it is. Today's then. Miami Harbinger. Who knows if it might suggest something interesting. Let's have a look what we've got lead out. Father Verb, one of the most influential and controversial figures of our time. The Harbinger had even published the first page in color in his honor. Years before he had received the Nobel Prize for... I don't remember what reason. Then he disappeared from the scene. Apparently he had recently decided to return with a book attacking the project Alternative Sentence, launched by the United Nations a few years earlier. I didn't know much about it, but I suspected that soon everybody would be talking about it. So look what else we got. Okay, the Harbinger is on the trail of the mysterious executive producer. A successful but unknown producer, and we've now decided to share information with you. Okay, interesting. Uh, so, Adam appeared from out of nowhere. Fake name. Uh, began funding products with only a single com common denominator. They would all go on to become big hits. So, he's the producer of the year. And all attempts to track him down have been in vain. Okay, so... He's in the lines of uh, Elena Ferrante and Banksy. Interesting. The HPD refused to share their progress on the blowtorch investigation. It was standard procedure. Initially maintaining absolute radio silence from the press, and then throw them a little bone in the days after. Unless Gwendolyn Pratt had an interest in the story. Huh. That snake would have been able to slip into Burton's office through the window just to get the scoop. I think that's all we're getting from the newspaper. I guess there's nothing else at home for us, so let's get back. I had to go to Molesberg's mansion as soon as possible. To do that, I faced two problems. I had to convince Seamus Burton to give me access to the crime scene and recover the keys that kept Green Dart in prison, which I accidentally dropped in the sewer. It would also be useful to visit the alley again, where, just a few hours before, I received the challenge. In the daylight, some new clue might emerge. Okay, plenty of things to be doing then. New map location. Okay, nothing there for us to collect. Let's check the mailbox before we I go. I was sure I would find only bills and late payment warnings. Sometimes it's better not to know, so I didn't open it. It's no way to teach adult responsibility. Okay, two new locations. Mulsberg Residence. And the alley. I'm thinking, should we go and get our green dart first? Ah, manhole cover. Maybe I could retrieve the key to the lock by regretfully climbing down into the sewers. Lifting the manhole cover with my bare hands was an undertaking beyond my physical abilities. And I don't think we've got anything there that will give us sufficient leverage. Maybe Grumpy Willow will help us. Hey, Willow. I need permission to enter, Willow. The HPD is not open to civilian. You should know that full well. But if you need to press charges, let me know. I came to visit Seamus, Willow. Is it necessary to be part of the CIA to see him? Curious that you mentioned the CIA. Oh, God. Let's just do this old school. You scratch my back, and I scratch yours. Deal? Actually, there is one thing an ignorant peasant like you could do for me. Do you see that red sports car? It's impossible not to see that fireball. A fireball parked for three days in a spot reserved for a public official? Namely me? I tried to have it towed, but they just ignored me. 
Can't imagine why, but okay. I'll make that car disappear sooner than you can formulate another conspiracy theory. If you need technical support, let me know. All right, what about the package? I'll go check if the package I've been waiting on for three and a half months has arrived. Okay, interesting way to say goodbye. Right, so how are we going to move the sports car? Let's take a closer look. Some men are able to move a car with their bare hands, as if it were a toy. I was never one of them. If a hand breaks off, you might have a chance. Okay, we've changed up here today. Little tourist, that's new. She was planning to commit to film every detail that might be worth showing to her relatives. That film was horrible. I didn't know why she took pictures of it so earnestly. Just because it's a fountain. Maybe in there I'd have found something that might have helped me get rid of the illegal Parker. Hey, you! What are you trying to do? I was checking that all tools are in compliance with the security regulations for roadworks. Are you a trade unionist? No, I'm just a citizen who values the safety of our good masons risking their lives every day. If you really care about your health, leave those tools alone. Right, let's have a chat with the mason. I had nothing else to ask him. Okay, never mind. Putting it in my pocket was out of the question. I'd have sold my amazing coat, if needed. I could have used it on the spot. Same internal dialogue as before. He was getting down with that guitar. Right then. Speak to the news agent. I had nothing else to say to that fake Frenchman. Right then. There's no other way out of this scene, I guess. See what else we've got. Hey, Wilo. Uh, do you mind if I borrow this marker for a while? What do you have to do? I can use it to get rid of your illegal Parker. All right, go ahead and take it. Okay, I, I wasn't the thinking that, but anyway. let's do it. I will never understand why you keep using quills instead of normal ballpoint pens. Pens contain microchip for satellite tracking. Didn't you know that? Oh, conspiracy theorist. Is this hat made of tin foil? Once my colleagues drew a fake mustache on me with one of these. I had to go to work like that for a month before it faded away. It would have surely forced the car owner to move it away, but I would have exposed myself too directly. What I needed was a more cunning and indirect approach. I hope you get the tourists to do this. Good way. Alright, anything else we can do with the sports car for now? Maybe. Or maybe not. Very useful. Firemen usually open the main valve, from which a powerful water jet would come out. Would it be useful to get rid of the sports car? Okay, I think I need to black out the camera. No matter how hard I tried, I couldn't see a good reason to do that. Right, never I could see my reflection on the glass door. And who? What a reflection it was, my friends. Alright, let's see if we can break the fire hydrant in any way. Something more specific would be preferable. Right, how can we distract the mason? Give him a cigarette? Sometimes, my obsession with using random items didn't lead anywhere. It's not random. Offer a builder a cigarette? You might say yes. Right, so what do we do? No matter how hard I tried, I couldn't see a good reason to do that. The mason was building a wall in a cross-section of the HPD station. He had a remarkable mustache. The wall had recently been stuccoed, so it definitely had more refined look compared to the rest of the building. The mason seemed to be maniacally attached to that brick wall. 
Maybe I could take advantage of this weakness. But I would need something with which I could vandalize the wall. Okay, there's the clue we've been looking for. Mark a pen, vandalize the wall. I consider myself a bad boy exactly for these kinds of ideas. There we go. I love the way we sneak in the background there. Hey boss, some punk must have targeted your amazing brick wall. Right, into the there toolbox it was. we go. The kleptomaniac's heaven. Found an adjustable wrench. A worn out but still usable mallet. Huh, and a brand new measuring tape. Well, we didn't exactly hold back there, did we? Right, so mallet or wrench to get the fire hydrant going. If the parking culprit lived nearby as I suspected, he would certainly witness the disaster that was about to befall his roadster. Security cameras looking right at us. Never mind. I let no the water pressure know. do the rest. Now, it would just be a matter of time. Right then, are we sure about this? Oh, yep, someone's in the car. The place is all yours, Wheelow. He just seamlessly goes off to pick up his own car. Oh. Lazarus Bundy. What a chance encounter. And things go from bad to worse. Who is this, I wonder? Man, I didn't realize how dirty Green Dart was. I really need to deal with something else right now. Come back later, okay? Information can't wait. But above all, it's the American people who can't wait. They deserve to know. And right now, they are crying out to hear what law enforcement is doing to protect the great country which is America. In particular, what Lazarus Bundy is doing to prevent a dangerous criminal from continuing to slaughter innocent people. Well, I could tell you about how my brain practically spilled out of my ears from the beating I took just to save a girl. But then your article would read, Detective Bundy loses brain and culprit. That means you had some gray matter left when you let the Metro artist and the nightclub gigolo slip through your fingers? Is giving nicknames to criminals the best you can do? Apart from appearing just when something goes wrong? Gotcha. You're admitting the last case went wrong. <sighs> Rumor has it that this umpteenth failure was also your last failure, Bundy. Rumor is that Seamus Burton refused to have your back after a blowtorch, the monster that shook Miami, escaped capture. Rumor is also that a certain detective could sue a certain imposter for slander. Do you want to stand against the freedom of the press? I have the people on my side. Are you talking about those morons that read your sensationalist and defamatory stuff? Very well. The Red Scarf Detective insults honest citizens. Why am I still talking to you? Because Good question. I'm about to give you a loophole out of this spiral of failure. In two days, I'll be shooting a special in front of Ramos's house. A program in which I'll reveal all the info I have on live television, whether provided by official sources or not. And I should be that official source, I suppose. You know, I think I'll respectfully decline your got... I mean... I got wind that the detective in charge of the case had voluntarily let David Ramos get away, according to a credible witness who wished to remain anonymous for safety reasons. There could be a history of corruption behind this. I've never accepted a bribe in my entire life, Brad. You know that full well. That is your truth. Do you think it's intriguing enough to become the preferred truth of the people? The ball is in your court, Bundy. It's up to you to decide whether to shoot it or pass. Bye-bye. Well, she's certainly a bit intimidating. So that harpy had chosen her scapegoat to sacrifice to the national press. What was I supposed to do at that point? Would I go back where it all started, or would I let them tear me apart without even trying to defend myself? Hey, Lars. Okay, Willow's back. Was Gwendolyn Pratt the woman you were talking to? What? Don't be silly. You know Pratt. She does seem a Pratt. Like a plague. Never mind that. What do you have to say about my parking job? Yes, yes. An impressive performance. Although I'd have done it faster. Stop worrying out my eardrums and grant me permission. The 
This is my modified temporary pass. I was sure I lost it years ago. I kept it as a symbol of your egocentrism. You're the first and only one to ever insist on having his photo on a temporary pass. Let's go in then. Right, so we've made some progress in that episode. We're kind of partway through a few things. We've got more locations available to visit. We've kind of fixed Green Dart's wheel. We just need to get the keys back and we fooled the builder. So we're going to call it a day for today's episode there. Um, obviously, we're moving into a new scene, a new phase for the story now, which I'll try to get out again as soon as possible. I do hope you've enjoyed today's episode too. Please hit that like button if you have subscribed to the channel. If you haven't done so already, I'm Dodgy Gamer for Dodgy Retro, and I'll see you again soon.